Fixie, Holga, locally grown organic copy. If your son or daughter is using such words, they may be part of the counterculture cultists known as hipsters. Hipsters are found in almost every household in America. It's just a matter of singling them out. Sid Briggs, a local hipster, has agreed to be interviewed, provided we do not reveal his identity. I first realized I was a hipster about the time I went to a local thrift shop and tried to get a deep V, but it just wasn't deep enough. So I went home and made my own. What started you on this path to hipsterism? Well, when I was about eight, my parents took me to a museum, and I got touched by Dali and George O'Keefe. Be wary of entering locally owned organic coffee shops, as they are one of the largest meeting grounds for hipsters. Often you'll find them working on their MacBooks, writing screenplays, or perhaps a little diddly for an upcoming poetry slam. And God forbid you get stuck behind someone who wants a flower in their coffee! Now, is that a grande macchiato? No, it's a caramel mocha. Shut up. What you have to realize is that coffee shops are coldly calculated to appeal to the hipster populace. From the local artists whose paintings are featured on the wall, to the Bonnie Bear playing off some barista's iPhone. Everything is designed to get those fixie writing, tea sipping hipsters. You start out ordering a plain coffee, but soon enough, you're ordering a Vente Caramel Macchiato every day and taking pictures of it with your Holga. Hipsters love their Holgas. Parks such as this one are fan favorites for those taking pictures. Unsuspecting... Unsuspecting bystanders... What the... Unsuspecting by... Unsuspecting bystanders quickly become victims of drive... Okay, that's it. Oh, oh, oh.